Russia demonstrators against Ukraine's new interim government. Russia, Russia, they chant. Russian propaganda was massive on social media. It was massive. There were so many stories that started emerging on the Facebook. Cruel, cruel Ukrainian nationalists killing people or torturing them because they speak Russian. They scared people. You see, they're gonna attack, they're gonna burn your villages. You should worry. Then the fake staged news. Crucified child by Ukrainian soldiers, which is totally nonsense. It got proven that those people were actually hired actors. Complete nonsense. But it's, it, it spreads on Facebook. So Facebook was weaponized. Just as in the Arab Spring, Facebook was being used to inflame divisions. But now, by groups working on behalf of a foreign power, using Facebook's tools built to help advertisers boost their content. By that time in Facebook, you could pay money to promote these stories. So your stories emerge on the top lines. And suddenly, you start to believe in this. And you immediately get immediate response. You can test all kind of nonsenses and understand to which nonsense people do not believe. And to which nonsenses people start believing. Which will influence the behavior of a person receptive to propaganda. And then provoking that person on certain action. They decided to undermine Ukraine from the inside rather than from outside. I mean, basically, think about this, Russia hacked us. Dmitry Shimkiv, a top advisor to Ukraine's president, met with Facebook representatives and says he asked them to intervene. The response that Facebook gave us is, sorry, we are open platform. Anybody can do anything uh, without, within the, uh, our policy, which is written on the website. And when I said, but this is fake accounts, <laughs> you could verify that. Uh, uh, well, we'll think about this, but, uh, you know, we, we have a freedom of speech and we are a very pro-democracy uh, platform. Everybody can say anything. In the meeting, do you think you made it explicitly clear that Russia was using Facebook to meddle in Ukraine politics? I was explicitly saying that there are trolls factory, that there are posts and news that are fake, that are lying and they are promoted on your platform uh, we buy very often fake accounts. Have a look. At least sending somebody to investigate. And uh, no one, sorry, no. no one was sent? No, no. For them at that time, it was not an issue. Facebook told Frontline that Shimkiv didn't raise the issue of misinformation in their meeting, and that their conversations had nothing to do with what would happen in the United States two years later. 